MS006 CAM bench is designed for diagnostics of 12 and 24 volt car alternators, complete with the voltage regulator in idle mode and under load at maximum speed of 3000 RPM. The maximum load current is 50 amperes. Install the alternator on the bench. Fix an alternator with a clamp. Install and tighten a drive belt. Connect high power negative side to the alternator body and positive side to the output of the alternator electropositive potential. Connect the control wire to the alternator output. Off on button is designed to turn off on the power of the bench. Emergency stop button is added for emergency shutdown of the bench power supply. Electrical load button says the alternator electric load. Imitates car consumers. Regulation GC button sets the alternator oscillation voltage. Rotation speed button controls the drive speed and direction of rotation. Encoders can be rotated in both directions and it also performs a role as a button. The bench is equipped with four outputs. FR, GC, LD+, B+. There are four items in the main menu. Selection of an alternator by protocol type. Selection of an alternator by original number searching. The bench parameters menu. And about bench menu. The installed alternator works according to COM protocol, so we select it. We start diagnostics by rotating the drive speed control to the left. We set the speed of 2800 RPM. Set the alternator oscillation voltage. We set the load approximately equal to 50 amperes. The alternator is working fine, therefore reset all set values by pressing each regulator. Using the original number on the alternator, 
You can find the tested alternator in MS006 Diagnostic Bench database. Go to search by the original number and set the number found on the alternator in the search field. After pressing the search button, the program finds the required alternator. The found alternator can be tested in automatic mode, that greatly simplifies the diagnostic process. During an automatic check-in, the diagnostic bench itself sets the rotation speed of the drive, sets the load and the alternator voltage. After the automatic test is completed, the result can be printed out on the printer.